Rotten Tomatoes. They'll just let any dumbass onto that site, won't they? Somewhat kidding aside, this is actually exciting news for me to share. I have been Rotten Tomatoes certified. That's right. I'm a bona fide critic, baby. In their eyes, and no one else's. They gave me an acceptance letter and everything. It's really happening, Mom! <laughs> you doubted me for so long. I actually told her, and the first thing she said was, Wow, great, so how much do you get for that? In which I replied, I don't know, Mom, how much is clout worth to you? What's the exchange rate on bragging points? Does notoriety do anything for you? Doesn't put food on the table, but you know what? But at least I can get out of bed now, look myself in the mirror and say, You know what, Adam? You made it. Good for you. You started at the bottom of the stairs and you climbed all the way up two of them. Out of a possible 300. And there you stand, waiting to potentially vault up two more stairs in the next 10 years. In all seriousness, this is actually really cool to me. And it's almost entirely because of nostalgia. I used to love going to RottenTomatoes.com to check out movies, and I agreed with them like 99% of the time. If the big name critic said it was a bad movie, I steered away. Or I at least kept my expectations in check because I knew I was going to align with them. In the last seven or eight years, however, the site's definitely changed. I never go there, I never look at what the critics have to say, but now I'm one of them. Now I affect the tomato meter. The Last Jedi is going bye-bye. I mean, to be fair, I'm one guy. I'm, I'm a drop in the bucket. They probably have hundreds, if not thousands, of critics on the site now. There's a kid that's probably certified on Rotten Tomatoes that's nine years old and he has a blog. I don't know. I tweeted out my excitement on Twitter. So naturally, I was taken down a couple pegs. No, in all seriousness, no one cares about me on Twitter or anywhere else for that matter. But someone did, someone did chime in and say something like, uh, something cryptic. Like, oh, now the man is going to get to you. Now you're in the system. Watch how you degrade yourself and get on your knees and, and kiss the boots or whatever. I don't know what nonsense. Here's the deal. Nothing changes. Okay, I didn't sign some document saying you have to give all the MCU movies positive scores now. And all the Zack Snyder stuff has to get thrown in the trash because we're anti-Snyder for some reason according to some weird cult on the Twitterverse. Number one, they're not paying me shit. Number two, I don't get exclusive access to anything. I don't get perks or, or bonuses. Unless you consider a Rotten Tomatoes weekly newsletter as something to write home about, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be swayed. Lastly, to even be accepted in this upper echelon of movie critic status, I had to go through rigorous training. Uh, no, I had to go through a submission process where I wrote about myself, my style, the, the things I review, how often I review. Uh, they had to look at the analytics, see how many views I had, how many subs I had. Like, there was a whole criterium. I don't know if criterium's a word. I'm, I'm certified on Rotten Tomatoes. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> and and I, I hit it. I hit it all. And even after all that, though, they, they took other things into account. And thankfully, you know, they've already accepted everyone else. So I was pretty much all that was left. Another middle-aged white guy reviewing movies on YouTube. How refreshing. How outside the box. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool. I'm a Rotten Tomatoes critic now. Nothing changes in the slightest. I have a page on their website, a little bio. It will list off all the movies I've reviewed. So there's a place you can go to, to see some of that. I'm also on Letterboxd. Have to stay updated with it. I'm definitely a few weeks behind, but uh, you can see all the movies I've, I've, I've watched and reviewed there as well. If you're a high class Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and giving 20 bucks or more a month, I follow you on Letterboxd. That's, that's a mandatory thing on my part. So if you're given 20 and I haven't followed you, make sure to hit me up there. Give me a private message with your uh, handle. And I'll make sure to uh, adjust that accordingly. Last things last, I have been accepted into the Rotten Tomatoes family. However, I can't actually post content there until I believe middle August. They'll let me know exactly when it's ready. Then I can have new reviews and the backlog there. So right now it's just, it's just an empty uh, desert. There, there's nothing to be seen except for maybe a tumbleweed once in a while, but I will get going on it once they officially give me the go ahead. So there you have it. That's the excitement happening in my life. Are you happy for me? Or are you worried that I will fall victim to the grip 
that Rotten Tomatoes in the studios have on all the other critics there. But here's the thing, this was a dream of mine, one that I never thought I would be able to accomplish, to achieve when I was a youngling, a high schooler. I said to my buddies, you know what, I wanna be on that site someday. I wanna be one of those critics. And lo and behold, it finally happened. So let this be some inspiration for you. You can work your ass off and eventually, thousands of years later, make it to that second step. Just, just get off the ground a little bit. And then you just keep inching upward and onward. Weird, weird way to end this. Thanks again for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you soon. Since you're still here, I should also tell you I'm on TikTok, baby. That's where all the cool kids hang out, I'm told. I have some videos there. Nothing's really uh, unique. They're just kind of chopped up versions of what I have here. But honestly, sometimes that one minute rapid fire approach works pretty well. So why don't you check me out there on TikTok? It's Adam Does Movies. Subscribe or follow or, or whatever it's called. I'm not honestly sure. And uh, we could bump those numbers up because right now it's, it's pretty paltry. I'd appreciate it.